Okay, so before I start this video, I'm gonna put this right up at the front uh, to ward off any, any confusion. Um, this is not a video that is critical of the G888. Um, if anything, I am wildly impressed by it. It is a $600 saw compared to, you know, a $2,500 saw. That's what the 881CM runs at my saw shop. Um, you know, uh, I just never, I never imagined that a saw could cut as well as that 888 did with a dull chain. Um, in, in my past experience, and I've milled thousands and thousands of board feet of lumber, uh, I know that my chain is dull when it stops cutting. When it just starts to send out little particles of fine dust, it's like, okay, that's it. And, and you're going to know before it's going to cut significantly worse before it reaches that point. Um, so I, I know when a 3 8 chain is dull, especially on my 661. Um, with that 888, it plowed through two cuts. I think it was two cuts before it... Uh, before I finally just stopped and said, this can't be right. Um, well, the chain was dull. I, I never imagined that a saw could cut that well with that dull a chain. So I don't think this is in any way a representation of that 888's capabilities. Um, in fact, the more I think about it, the more it blows me away. You could never cut through a log like that with, uh, with a 3 8 chain um, on, on uh, my 661. Um, it's no way, no way, no how. Um, so this is not a video that is critical of that 888. Um, if anything, I am really motivated to get a decent and sharp chain on it to see what it's really capable capable of. And you know, you never know, I might actually switch it over to, to three eights, you know, it's, it's just, you, you know, you, you switch over the sprocket and now you're on three eights chain. I've already got a bunch of three eights chain. Um, so I might just do that, but I wanted to clear up any communication, uh, confusion and just communicate that this is not a video that's critical of the saw. Um, and the other thing too, is I, I think that we, and maybe it's just me, but I see it out there too. Um, there's a lot of people that think I'm going to get the most bang for my buck out of upgrading my saw, more CCs, more displacement. Um, I think there's absolutely some truth to that. Yep. The bigger your saw, the better it's going to mill, but also what a difference a sharp chain makes. I mean, I, I've I heard it said before that a sharp chain is the, the most impactful modification you can make to your saw. Um, this video hammers that home for me so well. Um, it doesn't matter how big your saw is. If you have a dull chain, it's not going to cut well. And you can get your saw to punch well above its weight with a, with a sharp chain. Um, so yes, displacement is important, but what's more important than that, regardless of your displacement, is having a sharp, good quality chain. So with that said, here's the video.
not happy with this surface in any way, shape, or form. That's terrible. Um, absolutely terrible. Uh, let me show you here. Um, now, I'm trying out a bunch of new stuff today. Um, I'm trying out a ripping chain by Archer. And, uh, and of course, the, the saw is new. Everything else is the same, but usually this waviness is from either a dull chain or a loose chain. That, that chain's too dull. Uh, it's brand new out of the box. I'm gonna sharpen it up. All right. Um, well, that took a ton of filing. Um, I didn't realize how bad this chain was. Um, you know, and uh, I, I think it just, for me, it goes to show the further that you stray in the Chinese clone saw market away from Old Forma, and Neotech, the, the more careful you really have to be. Because uh, that, that chain was awful. Um, and it, it also, I think, shows in a way how dangerous these 404 saws can be. You know, these big CC saws. Um, I feel like this saw would have pulled that dull chain until it blew up. sun is bad, but if this doesn't show you the importance of a sharp chain when you're milling, I, I just, I don't know what does. Um, and I would still say I'm not happy with how this chain is cut. I'm really not. But look at the massive difference between these ocean waves and then the smooth surface down here. The sun's really bad, but I'll get you a close-up. Look at this difference. You know, look at these really wavy lines, and then we'll we'll transition. I mean, you can tell where, exactly where I stopped milling down to here. You know, like I said, I'm still not thrilled with this cut, but it is so much better. Um, wow. Again, sorry about the sun, uh, but just look how much smoother this cut is. Um, it should still be a little bit smoother than this. So I'm not thrilled about it, but um, it's so much better than that first cut. The texture, the waving, the stress it put on the saw was just horrible. Um, now these are, these are pretty wide pine logs, at least for around here. Um, so we're gonna keep going. All right, so I'm taking a break here. Um, it's still pretty cool out, but uh, the temperature's gonna pick up fast. Um, now I had bought those new 810 chains, a company called 810 Chains made them. And I thought I'm gonna come out here with four brand new chains and you know, I'm gonna plow through two, three cuts. Um, with each each chain and then swap them out. Um, <laughs> boy, was I wrong. Um, that chain is horrendous. Um, when it's sharp, and granted, I could have spent a little bit more time sharpening it, um, but man, I, I burned probably a half hour on that chain. Each, uh, each 
cutter needed extensive reprofiling. Um, it was it was bad, um, and so I, I could have spent more time on it, but I did spend quite a bit of time on it. And this is my milling time. This is the time that I have to come out here and be productive. And so I just hated to do that. Um, but I think what I'm going to do now, um, I do have my 661 CM, um, and that that does have uh, chains in good shape on it. So, and I have a an, an extra chain as well. So I think I'm going to put that on the mill and uh, and do that from here. just absolutely floored by this. Um, I mean, these are the cuts that I'm used to getting with a sharp chain and my 661 CM. Um, I mean, th this, is, this is it, this is the stuff. Using that 661 compared to that 888, um, wow. I mean, I'm, like I said, absolutely floored. It was an easier cut. Uh, it's so much smoother, it's so much faster. Um, it's just mind-boggling, absolutely mind-boggling. I'm going to um, throw that saw in the mill again and, and keep going. <laughs> Look at that. Look at, look at, look at that. That is unbelievable. Um, the finish is so much better. Um, went faster, it was easier. You know, I think uh, if somebody is going to um, buy a cheaper chainsaw, you can't buy cheaper chains. And if somebody wants to upgrade their saw immediately, whether it's you know, one of the big names or one of the clones, a sharp chain is absolutely the way to go. A sharp, good quality chain. The difference here absolutely floors me. You know, and I think it, it also goes to show if you were to put a cheap chain, even on a steel or a Husqvarna, I think your result would be just as poor as mine were. Um, you could have the biggest engine in the world, but I think if your chain isn't up to snuff, uh, it's not gonna cut well. 